What day is it? Okay. What what day? Sunday. Okay, what time? Um, I have no concept of time. 2.29. Okay. In the afternoon. 2.29 in the afternoon, and we're here on Sunday. We are, but... Okay. What's going on on Sunday? But this is... It's better. So we made a video last night when it was like... I don't know what time in the morning, and it was rough. But now, I mean, we've had some sleep, and we've done... All right, we're recording. We have. So today, we... It is... I was going to say, what time is it right 1 now? 1.36 a.m. 1.36... Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. October 22nd. So we just we just had area contest. A lot of band. A lot of band. Mm -hmm. We started at what time this morning? 8.30. 8.30. And last night, what time did we leave here? 11.30. Yeah. Before midnight. About midnight. When you say before midnight, it makes it sound early. <laughs> but it's <laughs> not early. It's definitely, 11 50. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. still pretty close to midnight. But we had 7 a.m. rehearsal yesterday. And we had 7 a.m. rehearsal yesterday. Yeah. It's been a while. That was a choice. Hours. We made that choice. Not yesterday, two days ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was be Friday. Because it's currently Sunday. It's been a long two days, but we advanced to the state contest. Woo! So that's awesome. Go to San Antonio. It'll take us, what, six hours to get down there? Yeah. Yeah. More than that? Yeah, always more than that. I know. Well, that, but that's the thing. You, you think in our it's world, size. it's like San Antonio isn't very far, but the, yeah. six hours anywhere else is a big trip. Yeah, it says like five and a half on Google Maps. So it lies. It does lie. Seven. Seven. And we're going to not stop at Bucky's. You are not going to be on the bus. <laughs> So we're going to do whatever we want to do. When the color guard travels. It'll actually take us eight hours because we're going to stop the yeah. It's so overrated. Yeah, you're not going to be there. So we'll do whatever we want to do. take a picture with the beaver. <laughs> so overrated. All right. Well, this is a good video. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't show Jana one time. That was really rude. <laughs> You said you didn't want to be you in it. You said, this is a good video. <laughs> I don't want to do one time. No. Go away. <laughs> I, I quit. You've quit like seven times today. I know, but I'm really quitting. You, you need me this week. Just saying. <laughs> We have. So today we, we're planning. We're planning. Right. We're planning a state trip and we are grateful to be working on a Sunday. Okay, I want to talk about that because I was thinking about this this morning and I, parents who are going to watch this, this is super important. We are grateful because it's so crazy what happens right now and amazing. And I think this is really true and I don't know if everybody understands this, but we qualified for the state contest yesterday. The kids did, right? And so next, well, not Monday, Tuesday, tomorrow, a week from. A week from. We will, um, actually on Sunday, on Sunday yep. at noon, we will get on the buses. <laughs> a little after, I'm working on the uh, itinerary. We'll jump on the buses and we'll drive to San Antonio. And it's a substantial trip. I mean, it's a, it's a you know, two day trip down there. We stay in the hotel for two nights. We do all these things. Now here's what I think is so important and I just, I hope our parents understand this and recognize this. The district funds this thing, and that is so rare. I mean, I taught out of state, you know, and I mean, our buses weren't paid for to a football game. I, nothing, nothing. And so the fact that the district makes this a commitment and, and does it for athletics, academic UIL, theater, choir, everything, everything when you're involved in uio activities and you advance to the state levels or or other things then the district has a protocol in place where they pay and they take care of these things to the point where they will pay for the buses they will pay for the hotel they will pay per diem money for foods they pay for the truck and transportation now let me just throw this out there the trucks for us to go to the state contest it's eight thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> 
the bus invoice is almost $50,000. Yeah. And so we come with a lot of things and we, a lot of people. It's a lot of people and a yeah. lot of things. And, and I just, I want to, I think we need to publicly acknowledge and make sure people know that that, that is yep. such a commitment and it's so rare. Like if anybody, if any of my friends in other states that are band directors were what they'd be like, wait, your district does what? Right. And who else? So they're doing that for us, but it's not just us. Yeah. It's our friends. The yep. other blue school the across other. the way, Hebron, the red school right <laughs> over this way. Marcus, Marcus. So it's times three here in LASD. Yeah. And it's, and it's pretty, it's, it's just awesome. And, and we're appreciative. So, I mean, last night we filmed this video, we beat up because it's, you're just so beat tired. Um, but it is one of those things, on, you know, on, we come up and, and get everything organized. And of course, from the fine arts director, I think I got 32,000 emails <laughs> this morning. That yep. may be a slight exaggeration, but spreadsheets, this, that, do all this. Yep. We, and we do all this to get organized because of course, you know, things from the district level and the district finance office have to be right. Um, and so we have all these things we have to do. We can only pre-plan so much because we're not gonna go to the kids and go, hey, choose your room assignments. <laughs> oh, sorry, you didn't qualify. Yep. Yep. Uh, and we're and we're grateful not only to the district, but we're we never lose sight that a lot of a lot of people's season ended yesterday, and we are are grateful and we're so proud of our kids, um, and we yes. never undervalue this experience. So we are a, a lot of times it's rough. This one today, it's a little rough, but we're happy to be here. Yeah. So we know a lot of people would love to do it. What time did you get up this morning? I like well okay I'm. Just, in, Full Just, disclosure. I know. Say what time you got up. Okay. A little after 10 o'clock. Good. We have to, you have, we have to register for the state marching band contest, correct? We do. When's the deadline for that? 10 o'clock. Okay. So we registered <laughs> for Not the state. Not at 10 o'clock. <laughs> no. Because we got home late. Why did, do you, why did we get home so late? Do you, what happened after we left? We didn't even talk about this last night. Okay. We didn't talk about this. This. Is what true. happened? So, why did we get home late? We left the stadium at what? Midnight? Uh, somewhere around there, yeah, uh, yeah. And, it then, and then, of course, as things go, a highway was shut down. A major highway, six thirty-five. Artery for us to get from Mesquite, which is already on a school bus. It takes about an hour. About an hour, right? And so we were over there, and, and it's a great menu, and we did all all the things, and then uh, left, and then it was like, oh, the highway is shut down. So we <laughs> we diverted all the way south to Dallas. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we, yeah, and we are not south. We are not. So then, and then we came back through. It was the only option. Um, our bus drivers were awesome. They were awesome. It was that's the only, the only option. choice we had. They got us here safely, but they got us here safely about 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. And so, that's why we were grump, grumpy on the, we were beat up yesterday. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. All right. So you slept till 10. Slept till 10. UIL did let us register. <laughs> Rest assured. I got are, online when I got up and I was we like, We are registered. Oh, okay, we're working through the district paperwork right now. Yes. Okay, we're trying to come up with an itinerary. Yes. Uh, parents, stop emailing. We'll, we'll let you know soon. <laughs> <laughs> the children are currently signing up. For rooms. Via online of yeah. rooms and buses. We're working through that. Um, they have tomorrow till tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Um, I'm working on itinerary. We're working on... Getting approval. We have to get approval from the district. So we have to go through a field trip request. So we're, I'm doing that right now. All right. <laughs> That's my favorite form. The field trip request form. Right. Yeah. Make so, sure you get approval. I always say, well, are you going to deny it? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't think they're going to. So, but all <laughs> planning is in the works. Yeah. The works. So anyway, we will, here's the plan. Um, because the whole point of this, we've said this a million times, the reason why we're trying to do some of this stuff is so the parents can just see the things that go on and how everything works and all that stuff. We've we've not done a good job with content the last couple of weeks in terms of <laughs> YouTube. No, we I'm have sorry, not. we've been trying to make everything work and it happened with the show, put all that together. So um, we will, however, we're, we're planning, we'll run a bunch of uh, video and we kind of want to show uh, what happens on the state trip, how it yep. works um, for the parents so they can see. And also, honestly, for even like some of our middle school students that are like, man, what happens, whatever, uh, what goes on in, in band at the high school? Because we get it, it's different and it's weird. And the whole marching band thing doesn't make any sense. Yep. Um, we do want to say to any of our middle school students who are watching, nice job yesterday. Yeah, you guys had all districts. district band auditions. Yes. 
So very cool. Very cool. We're so. excited for them, and, and hopefully they'll watch a video about you know the state trip, and we'll put some things together. We yeah. also will pretty soon here. We're going to release the show um, so that everybody can can watch that too and, and see what's going on. We just try to wait until it's at a point where. Um, Everything's put together, so it's a realistic representation for everybody. People always ask, like, can we see it? Can we see it? I'm like, can you just wait until we right. get to a point where... Taking this thing inside, Color Guard fans, yeah, no when. This is our, you know, uh, did you read my email this morning? How many times? This is our con seventh consecutive yeah. appearance. Which is crazy because I very distinctly this morning, I mean, I remember like it was yesterday the first time. Um, that the band 2014 14 we is the first time we went to the state contest and and um, it you know it's it's hard here so the way that everything works is you go to the region marching contest and all the groups that get a one rating at the region contest advance to what we refer to as the area marching contest why we start in region and then go to area it makes no logical sense we should start in area and go to region but it's the opposite way um, so we then we go to area and what happens is this all of the different Regions in fact, how many regions are in our area Four. so there's four regions. I think that's right and, and one band Per each five groups that are at area advanced to the state contest So we are in area C there are I think eight areas in the state that happened yesterday We're in area C there were 31 bands at the contest um, so that the six six of the bands advanced to state so it's a huge honor and we're aware of that i mean back in the day we, you know we, it was we couldn't get over that hump we couldn't and we kept working through it and and we've been fortunate in in these last few years to be able to to have this experience um, and the kids get to attend the state contest so we don't take it for granted because it's it's hard here it, it is, is hard. it is hard to qualify for the state contest there are so many good bands i mean we sat in the press box we had the Opportunity yesterday to perform first and finals. <laughs> Random draw. Random nice job. Draw. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> so we performed first, but what we did then is we went and we were able to watch a, a bunch of bands. And yeah. you just sit there and they're just they're good. The bands yeah. are really good. Uh, hopefully, my phone is exploding. It is here. blowing up. Yeah. Um, but all of the bands, it's just really impressive. And so. To be able to advance to the state contest, we don't take it for granted. It's it's a huge honor. We're fortunate. Um, the kids, we were very proud of their performance last night. Yeah, they rocked um, it. They did a, a really great job, and, and so we were happy and excited for them. And and now we'll move forward. So one more week, one more work of week, week, more. week of work. There you go. One more work and of then, week, week of work. And then you should know that you. Then we're, we're coming inside. Yeah, we're getting chairs out. It doesn't stop around here, uh -huh. you guys. I mean, we're already talking about things um, for the concert bands, and we do this huge holiday festival. Yeah, the Chamber return Oscar. of the holiday concert. Yeah, we're, we weren't in the auditorium last year. We're doing the whole so. thing, and so we're going to continue we're with, right. with videos and, and try to kind of show you some of the things that go on. When people always come, we always laugh. They're like, well, what do you do now that marching season's done and we always say oh we we do way more um, <laughs> we, do. we do actually the busiest time is solo and ensemble it is um, so. it's much busier than marching season which is awesome because there's so much development that happens musically and uh, we're excited so all right we got to get back to work for today though true that all right bye <laughs>